All right, guys. Um, in my last humble video, which I just made, I was talking about playing this game because it seemed rather interesting. In other waters. So, I figured, what a better way to start my seven days off than to play this interesting game. And at least look at it. Because, I mean, it looks really cool. Fellow Traveler presents... Oh. A Jump Over the Age game. Created, designed, and written by Gareth Damien Martin. Okay. Music and sound by Amos Roddy. So far, I'm enjoying the sounds. Very nice, sort of chill. Definitely can deal with this. Additional programming by Chris Payne. In other waters. All right, all right, all right. Um, I guess this does have uh, controller support. Oh, error detected. Uh, rebuilding memory. All right. Log recovered. Recovering last known log. Log recovered. Date 2189. User and sensorium disabled. Their time left. This is going to be more rough than you are used to, but you are resourceful. I know you. I'm sorry, Aki, but I can't the him find you. I can't lose everything we achieved here. User disconnected. Click with boot. Oh. Hello? Is someone there? This is Dr. Ellery Voss. I urgently need systems for the suit activating. I've been locked out, and I'm 20 meters below the surface here. Oof. I say again, this is Dr. Ellery Voss. Can any operator uh, personas on this suit respond? Oh, so that's yes, and that's no. Good. Operator, act, activate all systems pilot authorization granted. Okay, scan the topographic readouts coming through looking good. Um, let's get heading. Okay, utilities available. Let's see. Sampling, sample storage, terminal, and retrieval seem to be installed. Power. The power panel is activating plenty of juice. Oxygen. Oxygen panel is up and rebreather functioning. I am off reserve oxygen now. Heading. I'm seeing the heading panel coming online. Excellent. Depth. Okay, good. The dive panel is active. Current reading of 20 meters. Okay. You don't seem to know what you are doing, but you're an operator, are you? Yes. I don't believe you. Operators are a little more than voice-activated system dialogues. They don't respond like this. I knew there was something strange about this suit when I got inside. It looks decades old. Look, we don't have time for this, so whatever programmer system you are, I need you to work with me. You seem to respond to voice commands, so that's a start. I... we need to head north. I'll explain once we get going, but right now, I'm locked out of half the systems of this suit. Someone, somehow, has rewritten the permissions to only respond to internal messaging. That means you. So I'm going to need you to take control. Let's get moving. Take me north into the reef. Please. Okay. OK, 
Okay. Needing to go this way. Southern Gully. Feature observations. Uh, steep rock walls rise up the sur towards the surface on the either side. The floor is laid with pale sand. So that's, I guess, that's a southern gully? Which way is north? Like this is, I guess, supposed to be north, right? Okay. Good. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Let's keep heading north. That, but it was a southern gully. Can I collect? Retrieval. Okay. All right, we're going to ping the next location. Narrow pass. A boulder fills a package blocking out the warm light of Gleese 667 CC's three stars. Okay. Uh, here the passage opens out uh, back into the dappled light of the reef's shallows. Okay, what are those? Fish, maybe? Um, soft currents. The softly flowing water is filled with glittering particles of organic matter. Signs of rich and thriving life. Look, in the water. Are those spores and those stalks on the west? They look like huge fungi. This is unbelievable. Actual alien life. How could Mine have kept this plan place a secret? I saw her notes at the base when I landed and some telltale signs on approach. But here it is. The first extra extraterrestrial life humanity has ever discovered. I, I can't believe it. What is this? Fungal creature made up of a series of stalks and plates attached to the... These stalks are beautiful. I wonder how they feed, how they grow, how they communicate. This place, this planet, needs to be studied. Keep scanning creatures and I'll take notes. Once we've got enough data, I can name and log each species no matter what happens here. This is vital work. And that's another bed of stalks. Strange stocks. Southern nursery feature. Um. Oh, I guess I can't go anywhere but there. What are those creatures? They were hidden among the stocks. Quickly, try to scan them. Agile creatures. These creatures appear to maneuver. Uh, lively creatures. Uh, these are such lively creatures and so colorful, too. I'll start by logging my observations. Interesting. I'm seeing a complex pattern of contracting and expanding slits in this stalk's membrane. Mouths or sensing organ organs. Bed of stalks. Stock patch. Among those spore clogged stalks are piles of small stones. Could a creature have gathered them here or just the currents? Alright. Sampling available. These stalks are covered in spores of all the sizes. Perhaps we can sample one of the larger ones. I'm in position. You'll have to take the sample, open up the sample utility. one 
Is that it? That's what I needed to do? Okay, we've got one. Biological samples are vital tools for analyzing um, and understanding creatures. Uh, but this suit should allow you to deploy any sample back into the ocean. How about you test it out? Hold and drag it over the central compass. Deploy inside line. Great, that's working as it should. Look, those creatures are coming for the spores. Why these ones in particular, I wonder? Perhaps different spores carry different compounds, each with a specific purpose or message. What do you think? Could the spores be a way of communicating between different colonies? Um, no, I don't think so. No, perhaps further study is needed. It wouldn't be irregular for fungi to form a communication network, but it could also be food. Anyway, sorry, I'm not sure why I... Uh, let's keep moving. Another bed of stalks. Silent clearing. What is it that detects the reef's growth pattern? Sunlight, the flow of water, whatever it is, it must be absent here. And this is spore flow. Spores from the main part of the reef are brought into the southern nurseries here at a steady column. I can go. I'd like to go here, though. The spore overflow. Hey, can I ask you something? Yes. I've worked with AI programs before, but you weren't like them. They are predictable, pro pragmatic, pro blah, blah, blah. programmatic, dull. Their intelligence allows them to log and process data, that's all. But you... You are different. I feel like you are alive. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, because I am. Then you are different. I'm glad I'm not just imagining it. But what are you, and what are you doing in this suit? I cannot tell you that. Northern current. So we are trying to go north. Um, so that is practically where we need to go. There's another bed of stalks. Here is a long rift. And an overgrown arch. Because arch is covered in hard, hardened stalks, perhaps the slow current passing through their spores. So we're going to go that direction, I think. Ooh, large stalk. Static creature made up of one... St oh, these huge hots are incredible. Each one a ver ver uh, vertical ecosystem. They are leaking spores into the water as their fruitless bodies attach to their skin bloom. Reef stocks. Oh, new species logged. Uh, okay. I'm uploading my initial notes. Let's call these reef stocks. We can classify the species in the lab. There's that. Large growths. Okay, let's check out the large growths. Oh, now I can't go back. Did you see that? The stalks responded to our movement. They extended as we passed through the arc. Perhaps it was the sound we made when we moved through. We should be careful not to get trapped here. The suit's power capacity is limited. Oh, what is that? Shelled creature. Uh, mobile creature with a large translucent shell and four swimming. Okay, they have beautiful translucent shells. I'll start logging data on them as we find them. Okay, and there's another large stock. Feeding grounds. Okay, well let's uh, let's go to the feeding grounds. Oh, look over there southwest. The stock is totally calcified. Looks like a good sample cabinet. So this one's probably what it's talking about. Oh, no, that one. Huge stock is totally still. It plates hardened into a rocky shell. Can it be revived, or is what death looks like here? Um, there's another large stock. There's another large stock. There's a forest path, but we're going to go this way. And go get us a sample. Stock looks dead. Open up the sampling panel and we can extract some of the outer membrane. 
there is lots of dead material here, so we should be able to, to take multiple samples. I'm going to do that first so we can look at that one. So it's a singe stalk. Sing stalk. Uh, I've named these sing stalks for that strange hum they produce. What is its precise function, I wonder? This overgrown pass. Okay, but we are trying to find that one. Okay, so the chitin appears to be hardened with calcium carbonate. That could be useful if we need to boost our power. This suit is able to uh, metabolize organic compounds to produce full fuel. Just drag them to the power panel. The suit displays how much oxygen or power each sample can produce. No point wasting important samples. With these, we can keep one sample so we can analyze it back on the base and use the other to, for a power boost. I don't really need a power boost just yet, though. Okay. Oh, there's another agile creature. Bear Canyon. Well, let's go down this way. Oh, it got closed off behind me again. Cavern Edge. Alright. Nothing else of note, but I'm not going north again anymore. And that's what I needed to do, right? Southern Cavern. Maybe I should go this way, go back north. Oh, okay, well, Vector is blocked, so I can't go that way. That sucks. Okay. Oh, what? That means I can go down? Oh, ho! Alright. Oh. Tall stock. Glittering stock. They tall stock. Uh, to watch over the smaller colonies, I'll start by logging notes. Clogged tunnels. We're going to actually go here. Maybe we can grab a sample. Uh. Yep. Okay, we're going to close those through. We're going to grab as many as we can. These gaseous bubbles are intriguing. The interior gas and elevated pressure. If this membrane ruptured, the sac would screech as it depressurized. Is this part of the stock communication system we've seen across the reef? Wait, I have an idea. Try deploying one by that blocked tunnel over there. I want to see how the stocks react. Just drag one over. Oh. They retracted. These bubbles must be some kind of signal system. I'll call them shrill sacks for that squeak. We can use these to get through the heavy growth ahead. Let's get moving. Okay. Blind corner. So yeah, so far this game's really interesting. Uh, so I guess you're wondering where we are headed. There's a way station just north of here on a finger of the reef. I want to find it. My shuttle touched down just hours ago at a floating research base to the south. That's where I found this suit. I'm here looking for, uh, for Dr. Mine, Nomura, chasing a message all the way from Earth. I must sound mad coming out here to a planet in the tail of Scorpius just to follow a message. Wait, you, you do know where we are, don't you? Nope. But how? We are in Galice 667CC, a supposedly unremarkable world if it wasn't for all this life. Somehow, the Exoplanet Extraction Corps must have passed it by, but how did Minet know to come here? 
Is that why she contacted me? To verify her discovery? But then where is she? Look, let's find that way station. Then I can start piecing together what's going on. Okay, thin passage. Cavern entrance. I probably should have searched instead of, you know. All right, so what do we got? Tall stock, large clearing, glittering stock. Yeah, we're gonna go to the glittering stock and get another sample over here. Boom and boom, because we need some more of these shrill sacks. Rock outcrop. Let's go there. Isolated stock. Hmm. Nope, no samples here. Okay. So we're going to keep moving. There's another shelled creature. Spore clouds. And deep forest. I mean, I could probably go in there if I wanted to, but I think I want to come down here to this spore clouds. Maybe I can grab a sample. I cannot. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and head back this way, because we're trying to go north. So, practically, I need to take this and do that there. Bring it over this way. There's another tall stalk. Oh, the little turtles come up next to me. There's another glittering stock. Stock patterns. Let's go to the glittering stock again. And get some more of these little shriek things. Creature, shelled creature, signal stock. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call these signal stocks for the signaling role they play in the stock ecology. Uh, there's another glittering stock, which I don't really need right now. Clear path. So let's go to the clear path. I have got twin stones or spore clusters. Okay, let's go here. Okay, I'm going to use that so I can, you know. Okay, basically you can put that down and it will attract others. 
because like I said, it's like it's like um, food. We're gonna go up this way. So yeah, really interesting so far. I'm I'm really kind of um, interested in the world. And there's Forest Edge, but I can't do anything about that. Till now. Oh, this is it. We are through this place is overwhelming. So many new species. This is the Central Reef. I saw in Minet's maps that the shell, uh, shell flattens out here. Okay. Um, there's a rippling silt. Shady outcrop. Let's go to the silt. What's that one? Central Plain. Uh, let's instead go this way. It's not what I, what I wanted to do at all. Is there anything here? Yeah. Okay, but that's not really where I want to go either. Because we're trying to go north. I think this this may be it. Hopefully, anyway. There it is. I see the way station ahead. All right. There's the way station. Let's go back to the way station and see if we can't analyze some of this stuff. This place is looking a little worse for wear. Let me see if I can find an access port. I mean, they never did take care of your equipment. Some things never change. Sorry, give me a sec. I'm just trying to... Got it. Okay, we should be able to access any data stored here. Just open the terminal and take a look. Power. Oxygen. Map data. Sync complete. Data released to pilot's console. Logs have been cleared. I expected that, given the secrecy Minet uh, seems to be operating under. But the map data mentions something that Minet calls the bloom out across the northern rift. She's been going back and forth to something there, studying it. A unique species, perhaps? Minet, what were you doing here? Why were you keeping this discovery from the world? From me? I'm talking to myself again, or to whatever you are. Sorry, I don't mean... Let's head back to the research base. I need to think. With this way station operational, we can call in the base's retrieval drone from the utility panel. This drone will be able to pick us up from any area we've got map data for. Let's head to the base. I've got a lot to figure out. Connecting. Okay. Let's see how well this is working. Sample store. Hey, are you back online? Yes. Pretty sharp work for a biologist, if I say so myself. Hooking up that strange uh, casing of yours to the base took some work. And the operating system here does not does not play nicely with whatever you are. But you should have access to select subsystems for the stack now. Minet looks to have repurposed some of them, so not everything is functional. Comms are shot, the generator is only partially working, and one of the retrieval drones is missing. But I've booted up the drive bay's mapping systems and sample storage. The lab is also in line with analysis tools and an integrated taxonomy for logging creatures. Take a look, I've already logged the creatures we discovered on our last dive. For any logged creatures, I'll also put sample requests in their taxonomy entries. To fulfill these requests, just find and transfer the samples to the lab, then analyze them. I can then use that data to add to the creature study. We need to register these species. Head down to the lab level and take a look. I'll also mark sample requests on the dive map. That way we can grab key samples of our studies while we are out in the ocean. And we are going back out soon. While you were offline, I spotted a signal. A suit transponder. You can see its location on the dive map. I want to find it. A suit transponder means a suit, and a suit means Minet. I'll need your help. That suit takes both of us to pilot it, and it's the only one I've got. 
Once you're done exploring the base, load into the dive map. We can head out from there. Well, all right, so we've got our sample storage. I do need to... I'm gonna do that. Uh, life support, crew terminal. These are all of the logs. Minet is gone, and she's left behind one hell of a mess. This base is falling apart, cannibalized to build way stations out in the ocean. The communications array sliced away, life support failing. Where did she even commandeer this research base from? There's no way uh, Baikal would have supplied it willingly after she did to, after what she did to them. What did she call me out here for? To witness her disappearance? Or did she simply want me to encounter, as she did, the impossible life of this ocean. How could it have gone ignored for hundreds of years of exploration and conquest? There are too many questions to even begin. All I can do is keep an account of what happens here, so that if I can't answer these questions, someone else might. It'll be weeks. Maybe months until the next ship passes close enough to pick up my shuttle transponder. Until then, I'm alone. This place is unbelievably important. Our first contact with life beyond Earth but something else is happening here, too, and I need to know what it is. Uh, damaged internal array. We've got the bay. Let's go down to the lab. Um, sample analysis. Lab analysis complete. Um, taxonomy updated further analysis possible how many times do I do I need to anal uh, to do this? Maybe I just have to get more. Okay. Fun guy. Oh wow, a lot of stuff in here, isn't it? Different all the stocks. Alright. There's medical. Generator. Active. Running at 34% efficiency. Observation blister. Inactive. Well, all right. You know what? I'm going to end this video here. This has been actually really fun and interesting to play. Um, but there are many other games that I'd like to try to play and put some videos up. And I'd like to work on my other playthrough. So, uh, excuse me, I should have went out and bought some more monsters, but I didn't. Get ready for a huge uploads today. Completely. So until then, be safe and be kind to each other.